Charter Local Edition, Brad Pomerantz here in the Inland Empire, joined by Aquanetta Warren. She is the mayor of beautiful Fontana, California in San Bernardino County. Your state of the city is coming up. That's right. What do you plan to discuss well, with you your know, residents? I can't, I'm so excited. You know, yeah. I get excited. Let me calm down. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. I'm with you. This is really the, the going to be the top state of the city we've ever had mm. because Fontana's in the right place at the right time. And that's what the theme is going to basically talk to the business community. This is the time for everybody just to get excited, start creating more jobs, let us have that sales tax revenue, and let us build. Let us do some more building. I mean, I got to tell you, Fontana. <laughs> I we mean, got it going on you, or what? You, you really do. How I many mean, snaps? How yeah, many snaps? I, I mean, plenty. <laughs> there, there is something about, you know, it's Fontana. It's that whole corridor, you know, Ranch Cucamonga. Right. That, that whole corridor is just really. I lay down almost in the street when they finally gave us the airport. Right. Every time Ontario. I see. Oh, yeah. yeah. Every time I see the mayor of LA, Eric, right. I say, Eric you know Garcetti. what? Excuse me, Mayor right. Garcetti. Love you. Yeah. I mean, it's coming together. We just need to work as a region better. We need to work with Riverside. The city, county, the all city, of the above. All of us need to work together. Well, let's talk about one area where there needs to be some work, and it's just not the Inland Empire; it's the entire state, and that's roads and bridges. Right. I mean, <laughs> we drive through some of our cities and bounce, bump, bounce, crack the windshield, crack I, the frame. You know, there are some bridges I drive under that I'm afraid don't let me sit here in the traffic under it because I don't want right. it to go under. We've got to find a way to do maintenance and I think I know how we're going to do this. Go. I'm in the mayor's conference. U.S. Conference US of Mayors, that's a very legit very, organization. Right, all the mayors, all the United States and we're the voice of the cities where the biggest population exists. So we're going to get the attention of this president-elect. And let's talk about President Trump because one can say a lot of things about him, oh, yeah. but one can also say that he was very clear that he wants spending in infrastructure. Absolutely. People may have attacked where he's gonna get the money, but let's just put that aside for now. Let's take him at his word. He wants to get people to work building roads and bridges. And I wanna say publicly right here, we want to work <laughs> with you in right. the IE to make that happen. So how do you get on the top of the agenda. I mean, we think about the Obama years where it was the stimulus package. Right. And with the stimulus package, what the president, former president would say is, you need to have shovel ready projects. Right. So that's how you got on the top of the list. Do we know yet how to get on top of the Trump well, infrastructure one the, list? One of the good things we've already put in place is we have sandbag. Right. Where we all come together. That's the same. But we're going to have to government. really get out there and mm. go to D.C. and just keep trumping on everybody. You get right. it trumping. I hear you. We need to trump on everybody well, to get our message across. The, the good news is in the Inland Empire, you have a nice bipartisan mix. Right. You know, you have Democrats representing in Congress and Republicans. So. Hopefully you can get them together right. on no this issue. Right, no message came across louder than if you're not working together. Right. The public doesn't care about the D, the I, yeah. the R, uh, the I, whatever. the G. Yeah. I mean, the alphabets don't matter. People want to see their elected officials working together for their issues. And infrastructure is something everybody can work together on. And arguably, without making it partisan, I mean, you do know that the Democrats took a supermajority in Sacramento, and that may be a plus or a minus. Well, but look at the IE. We didn't get any cap and trade money. Yeah. Not a dime, to my so, knowledge. So, but, but the, but, but in terms of that supermajority, that could arguably move forward transportation spending. We would think. Right. So that. But, but the timing could be good. St some state money coming down from right. Sacramento, D.C. money coming from the Trump administration, local you know, dollars. And I just get concerned that some of those dollars come through what I call the middleman, the state, yeah. which is not the worst thing that could happen. But then here we all are arguing because everybody up there, they only think about northern. Mm. They don't think about the southern end where the economy is really growing the state. Right. Your, your ATM machine state of California <laughs> is in the south. So why not invest in the south? They get to L.A. and it looks like they drop off a cliff. It is they don't even know how to yeah, find Fontana. They don't know how to find Riverside. We yeah. need representation all the way around. We've got great representation in terms of regional. We look yeah. at Mark Steinor, yeah. Mike Morrell. Yeah. We've these got are, our Senator Connie Leva. Yeah. We've got Freddie Rodriguez. All these people, we need them to work together. And what I love is you issues. just mentioned two Democrats and two Republicans. Right, exactly. But I will say that I do feel as if the IE caucus gets along pretty well. 
Dems and Reaps. The Central Valley Caucus, I know, has gotten along pretty well. Right. I do think the IE wants to come together for the betterment of I the IE. I would say so, but they can come together, but production. We right, need, I know. <laughs> we need it to but, happen. Yeah. When they get up there, they're outnumbered for whatever reason. And that needs to be something right. that we start really focusing in on trying to help them. I, I want to talk more about the election and talk about the federal side because, you know, as we know, President Trump uh, used some language that was incendiary to some. Um, Not to some, to a lot. To a lot. And uh, some people are scared. Right. People of Latino descent. Right. People that are Muslim. Right. Uh, people that hail from Mexico, people that are documented but whose parents are not, who are undocumented themselves. It is it's a nightmare right now for many of our residents, mm -hmm. and we have to address that. And I, have, I happen to have the pleasure to be on a conference call today with mm -hmm. uh, the mayor of L.A. Mm -hmm. and Garcia. other mayors around the United States, and we want that addressed. But we have to work with this administration to get the system fixed, we have to assure our residents and those that are here, for whatever reason, we've got to work with them. There's we no can't question. have people living right. in fear. Right. We've got, I've got kids coming up to me, Mayor, can you help me? They're going to take my mom and right. dad. And, That's not America. Yeah. That is not the America but, we all know. But, I mean, the president, President Trump has been pretty clear. But if you notice in the last week or so, he's more defined in terms of his message about that. And I've talked to leaders around the country that have told me that he is going to work with all of us on that. But on an issue, for example, deferred action, the right. DACA program, yes. which allowed, has allowed children brought to this country as minors by their parents to right. stay in this country in a protected status. During the campaign, candidate Trump could not have been clearer. He wants to eliminate DACA, and he has that power. Right. As but DACA how do was you an do, executive DACA action. DACA also allows those gentlemen and women that are serving in the armed forces protection for their families. How do you tell a veteran or a soldier that's on the front line in Afghanistan? It's all right to take your parents while you're away fighting for our freedom. But but you know, but we, the people I, knew I know, what but, they were voting for. But let me just explain, because you know, I'm I've mm -hmm. been campaigning before. Right. We got to deal with the here and now, mm -hmm. okay? I've been telling people we need to move on and work with this administration. Sure. We've got to. Of course, of course. So I'm And by faithful. the way, our viewers should know that you are a Republican. Right, An exactly. active Republican. I, we see you at the Republican right, Convention but and well-respected. But I'm blessed in that I'm in a nonpartisan seat. Right, of so course. I don't have to, I don't no, have but to I'm follow just saying, that line. But I think it's important people yeah. know that. Right, but I, I feel strongly, and I said on the conference call, we need to engage our faith-based community because it's our pastors and people of religious background that are dealing with this fear more than we have right. stepped up. We have to work with this administration and get them to have that compassion. But and I just we, have yeah. a feeling that that's going to happen. And you feel as if we in California, blue, dark blue California, will get this administration to understand our uh, Absolutely. Needs. I've got business people telling me, what's going to happen to our workers? You can't have this kind of pandemonium going on. It just doesn't work out. I believe we have to have faith that this is not going to be the outcome that we heard during those uh, campaigns. I mean, his advisors rallies. say you shouldn't take him so seriously. No, no, it's not that. I think it's something about when you get in a seat after you've campaigned that you finally realize you are the leader. Mm. And we need leadership right now. Okay, her name is Aquanetta Warren. She is the mayor of Fontana. My name is Brad Pomerantz in the Inland Empire. We thank you so much for joining us on Charter Local Edition.